Lake Eufaula is well renowned as far as a bass fishing championship tournament place. In fact, some of the world records have come from its waters. That's what drew a new professional fishing tour to its waters this week. WDHN Sylvie Sparks hit the water before the sun came up to see if they were biting. It's a beautiful morning for fishing on Lake Eufaula. About 100 fishermen are looking for the biggest bass they can bring home for the inaugural tournament of a new professional fishing tour. The National Professional Fishing League is a new bass fishing tour that kicked off this week at Lake Eufaula. The league focuses on being angler centric. The biggest thing I love about fishing is the camaraderie. And if you notice anything here with the, with the 110 guys we've got, the, the biggest compliment I've gotten are like, man, this feels like a family already. Event one, day one. The anglers will compete in six tournaments between now and October. The top 25 will play in a championship tournament in an undisclosed location in November. The NPFL scheduled the events five to six weeks apart to give the anglers time to be family men and have careers outside of the tour. I love to compete and this gives me a chance to be able to have business and have a family, but I can still go on the road and fish and compete and I love getting that kind of that fix in life. At the end of each day, the anglers five biggest bass are weighed and the winner on championship Saturday will go home with $50,000 in their pocket. The fishermen say they love competing, especially since the sport has been their passion since they were young. My first word was fish. I've been in love with fishing. I, I don't know if it's, it's, it's the unknown, you know, you're searching in the depths of the water looking for something. Being in nature, being on the water, I mean, I'm just at peace with it. Tomorrow is the last day of competition on Lake Eufaula. The next stop on the tour is at Wright Patman Lake in Texas. Reporting in Eufaula, I'm Sylvie Sparks, WDHN News for the Wiregrass.